just because you make your living playing music, just to, I mean, to use you as the, the perfect example in this, there's the assumption that you're killing it. It's all easy for you, you know, but you're very much a working musician. This is the job. You know, it's not to say that everything is hand to mouth, you know, like there's still the struggle, but it's still like, it, it's still your job. It's not just like living this, you know, lush, you're not living the life, you know, like the stones or Aerosmith or any of those bands who like, just do the one thing. They just do the band and that's it. That's not how it goes. I mean, it's not like that for most people, yeah. but I still feel like there's this perception like, oh, well, you're just, you're fine, you know, because you're doing this, but it's like, it's, it's a job. You're, you're a working schmo. I mean, that's a compliment. Yeah. And listen, we were fortunate to be able to have some decent income during the pandemic because of the Patreon and different things that the, that the band was doing. But because the uh, band was involved in a lawsuit, the work, none of us have been able to make any money from Bad Wolves for about four months now. We've been on our own. And so we've all had to figure out other ways to, to make a living and do this and, and, and doing that. And so, yeah, there's this perception, oh, you're in a big band, so this is happening, this is happening. But the truth is, with this band, they're so it's a big operation, right? So there's, you know, you got to pay your manager, you got to pay your booking agent, you got to pay your lawyer, you got to pay your business manager. Yeah, so yeah. those margins, especially when you're not touring and you don't have that income, you're not. And, you know, the big piece of touring as well is, is selling merchandise you sell, you know, and so once that stuff kind of goes by the wayside, you have to figure out different ways to, to make a living. And most musicians that I know at this level do multiple things because, Unless, like I said, unless you're in a Rolling Stones, it's going to be difficult to just rely on that one thing. And I think it's smart, though. Like, it's better to not feel as uh, dependent on one source. And, and, it, and it keeps you on your toes more as being a versatile individual and saying, hey, I don't I'm not just good at this one thing. I can do, work on this thing or have this business or have this other skill set. And so it keeps you kind of constantly working on different things. And I think that was something that's a, actually a big positive that came out of the pandemic is it, it trained a lot of people in not just the music world, but anyone who's kind of a content creator or entertainer or just anything is like self-sufficiency, being able to record yourself and do, you know, edit videos and make, you know, make music in your home studio and really go going, Hey, there's all these tools at our disposal. And just with a little investment and some time educating oneself, you can actually do a lot of different things. So I think that's something that's people will take that on with them. And now so many people are more independent, right? They can make money off Patreon. They can make money off Twitch. They can make money off, uh, you know, these, these different kind of very specified ways of, of going direct to your consumer and going, hey, I don't need 8 million people to support me, right? I only need a few hundred people that support what I do. And that now I can kind of make a living. And that's, it's pretty amazing. It's good. The idea that everybody kind of had to stretch and at the yeah. same time, take advantage. Cause I mean, literally anybody could do what we're doing right now. And because sure. of the ability to do it, it's literally the reason you and I are talking at this moment, because we have this connectivity and it's become normal to just be able to reach out to somebody and say, Hey, are you down? We could both do it from home relaxed nobody's rolling into a studio under lights or anything like that where it's it feels more like it, it may not be as comfortable it feels maybe more like a performance whereas here we are you're at home i'm at home it's just kind of easy and it could be casual and it's still something that people can you know we can just put out there and people can listen to it so yeah the idea that people kind of had to stretch creatively i think it was one of the big benefits and at the same time you don't strike me as the kind of guy where if you were just killing it if Bad Wolves was paying all the bills and there was enough money left over for fun, you don't seem like the guy who would be satisfied just having that gig and that's it. Like, I can't see you just kicking it on the beach. I feel like you would want to do other things. I feel like, you, you know, you would want to be doing a podcast. You'd want to be collaborating with other musicians. Like, you seem like someone who wouldn't be settled into just doing the one job anyway. Yeah, I mean, traditionally, I've been involved in a lot of different things. Like I said, doing before the podcast, I was writing freelance and mm -hmm. During, during the pandemic, I was cast in a film and got to act and get my SAG card. And, and that was something that I'm interested in. And just I'm just interested in a lot of different fields. The, the problem is, do you have enough time in the day to actually do it right. properly? Right. Because I don't I, I, I don't I don't like the idea of like dipping a toe in something without giving it its proper 
work and background and really taking it seriously. So it's, right. you can have all these ideas in your head, but you're like, you know, if I can't do that correctly, I'm just, it'll, some, some things will just remain a dream, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> pretty much once the beginning of the year happened and we had the member change, everything for us had to like really laser focus on the band and the album from the time of finding a singer. And so at the same time that we were searching for a singer, we also were in writing mode. So we were like, just working on music, working on music for probably from January. And then we were maybe done with the record in like May, you know, oh, wow. and that's after. So it was just a lot of work. So it was, even though I was doing other things, you do have to prioritize and you have to, sometimes there's the kind of the power of no, right. Of going, yeah. People asking you to do projects and you're like, and you want to say yes, and you want to be helpful, and you want to be a part of things. But sometimes you gotta go. Like, I just, I just don't have enough time for this right now. It, it's interesting being in the position where, like, oh, you want to help out, or like, oh, that'd be really cool to do. But it's one of those things where, you know, again, it's when it comes to mentally where you're at. Like, am I gonna be stretched too thin, or can I not dedicate to it the way I want to? Like, you want to show up if you're gonna take on something. You know, if you're gonna be in a film, you want to show up for it. And you want to. You don't want to just be there. Just oh, it's cool to do. You want to actually be able to to commit to it and be like, all right, I'm I'm there for you, you know. And, that, and that's what I try and do with any endeavors. I put a hundred percent into it, and you. So usually it's like if I have a project, right? Someone's like, hey, can you do a solo for me? Can you record this? And something that I wish would just take me m maybe a few hours or a day mm -hmm. will stretch out over three days because I'm so like, it's got to be good. It's got. And then so that so I, I feel like my t my commitment versus time management doesn't always work out so it's, right. it's not quite as efficient as i would like it to be but yeah i definitely try to be be involved in a lot of things and and i'm like working on all this stuff that i can't even really talk about like gigs that i took that it's kind of secret so i'm like putting time in and practicing and learning songs and i can't even really talk about it so people don't even know what i'm working on <laughs> at the time so it's like what are you doing oh i'm doing stuff i'm busy yeah i'm busy i got yeah there's, there's stuff going on like right you're not doing anything 